You alright guys, welcome back, it is me LUFC Lazza. Uh It's been a while uh, Been ill, just got a voice back So I thought I'd make a video uh, But yes, yeah, free transfer madness uh, The title domination thing is kind of on a hold At the moment because I've lost the save for it uh, I just got a new computer So It is on my hard drive somewhere actually to, to find it To be honest with you I'll be able to put it on my phone But uh, yeah That's about it so, we're getting this free transfer madness, uh, same format as last time, there will be another guy you know, I will recognise, uh, you probably already buy him, but let's get started. And here is Darren Carter, uh, you think he's at Chesterfield now, he's uh, formerly at West Brom and Preston, at least he said on the internet he was. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry, I was like, still a bit ill um. As you can see, he's got um, quite well-rounded stats. All blues, apart from shooting, which isn't really important. Uh, 27 years old, so you can still get a good... Uh, I think I got the max I've got of him is 5 years. Then he, I sold him because I didn't really need him anymore. Um, he is he is a really good player. Uh, especially if you... I do tend to play him in the centre. And then just use him as left mid if the need arises. Like, if I have another choice. And injuries play me into it. Uh, he's he's a well, really well-rounded player. He does really put performances in, and he isn't the kind of guy that is just consistent. He will have some. He will like be the best player on your team most games. I mean, he is one of mine when I use him. Uh, he's basically a championship player. I'd say uh, he plays better in the championship than he does the Premiership. And then in League One, he is. One of the best in the league. Then, if you, I never actually got him for League Two, but I bet he's an absolute demon in League Two. Uh, on the wages front, he wants 10k normally, but you can normally knock him down to about seven. Seven's what I usually get him down to. So it's not entirely out of the question for some clubs. Some clubs can afford that, but uh, like low down clubs, sorry, you can afford that, but. He is worth it because he's a really, really good player. And play, being able to play left hand centre is kind of is good, especially if you can play both to a high standard. Um, I take on the positions he can play now. As you can see, he's a natural centre midfielder and an accomplished led midfielder. Uh, these are the only two you're really going to use him for. I mean, his shooting isn't that good as you saw the last slide, so you don't want to be putting him in attacking just because solely because. Um, If he gets a shot on target, he's probably going to miss it. If he gets a shot, if he's shot on goal, sorry, he's going to miss it. Um, you see his preferred role is deep line midfielder. And defensive midfielder is unconvincing, which is really weird. But I never actually... I admit, I never tried him in defensive midfielder role. Because I never usually play that in any of my formations. But I don't know, maybe... If that's his preferred role, I don't see why I just playing him a, a standard defensive mid would change anything to be honest with you. So, I don't know, give it a try and tell me, you know what I mean? Um, but he is very, very good. I mean, he, he works out. If you're playing for, like, say, two seasons and he, you play him constantly, his value will go up and you can sell him on and get a, get a profit. Um, but he is a really good player. Uh, I've, I, I kind of didn't realise I was going to free this game. I mean, I've had him on other games on the computer where he batters me and then I buy him and... He just refuses to help me. Uh, <laughs> he's one of those guys. I used to be one of those guys that just buy players that do mint against you. But this guy actually was mint, so it kind of helped me out. Um, but yeah, that is Darren Carter. You can find him on the free transfer list if you start in England. Same as the rest of the guys I'm going to show you in this series. Um, he's worth a look. Not if you're in the Premiership. If you're in the Premiership, I think only sign him if you're desperate or if you're one of the lower down teams, such as... Um, a Wigan or someone, but I don't really have quite good midfielders on the game, so uh, I just keep a lookout to be honest with you. I just make sure that uh, your, def your midfielders at the moment aren't going to like outshine him because there's no point in buying him and just put him on the bench because he's a, he's a good player. Um, but yeah, that one is Darren Carter. Now we'll move on to the next guy, and you'll all recognize this guy. Here he is, Hernan Crespo. Is that in the Milan top? Must be in the Milan top. And yes, yeah, the most unpleasant. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not a nice picture, is it? Um, Hernan Crespo. He is very old, as you can see. 35 years old. 
8 tackling, 9 positioning, 8 creativity, 8 aggression. But his stamina and his, his stamina is still 15, which is ridiculous. And it just it's absolutely amazing, man. Uh, two years is probably the most you're going to get out of this guy. But he is a really good player. He still scores. I mean, I know him on the Leeds game and he scored 20 goals in the first season, which I thought was really good to say he's 35 and it's a championship. So he can still do the business. Obviously, any lower down that is going to be blitz. Any higher up, I don't know, maybe. I think it depends solely on where you play him. Well, what what style you play? I mean, if you put him Portra, I'm guessing he probably wouldn't get as much. If you put him as Target Man, he might. I think Target Man, he probably would get more. Uh, when I use my playing with deep line forward and just try to get people to like run off him, because uh, his passing is 13. His creative is not as good, but his decision making, obviously, you can see. His movement and his teamwork is all really high. Uh, so, I'm slowly going off the fact that you will be able to put it in. His heading's 15 as well, so obviously if you target him on that, it'll help out. But deep line forward, you can just like hoof the ball up to him and he can control it and then he'll be able to spin on it, pass it out and look for the one, you know what I mean? So, kind of help out help out the other striker and the other striker can score the goals. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of, that, that's him. I mean, that it, it looks... He doesn't look too good because of like the oranges, but he is a really, really good player for his age. Uh, I'll show you these positions now. As you can see, natural centre forward, deep line forward. This is preferred one. Did actually know that one, so it's quite impressive of me actually that I played the right one. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I've never actually tried this. I put him on the wings before just because uh, I had some injuries on the bench. Put him on the wing. I think he had a rate of like six. He wasn't that good. It did go downhill from there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, centre forward he will be banging the goals in, so he is worth it. His wages he wants thirty one k though, just because of the high caliber player he is. I mean, he's played for some big big clubs. You could probably try beat him down on that, but I haven't really bothered to be honest with you. I mean, every t every team I've tried to buy him for, I've had enough money, so I just give him it. But uh, yeah, I'm really conscious of how long this video is getting right now, so uh, I'm gonna end it here. So that was Hernan Crespo and Darren Carter. Free transfer madness, number two. Sorry about the rush of it, this one, guys. I actually wanted to get a video out, and I hate it. these videos being too long for you guys. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. I'll see you guys are out.